Hello, gang. Welcome back once again to Freeform Friday. And for those of you that have been with me less than a year, one of my annual traditions. See, one of my longtime favorite tabletop role playing games is Palladium Books, especially their Rifts and Tri Galaxy series. Palladium Books uses the same basic framework for multiple genres of games. Literally, you can convert characters and slide them back and forth. Sometimes with no need for conversion or anything. Just hop between game worlds. They even got systems for doing that. Going from fantasy to sci-fi to zombie apocalypse and all manner. Well, one of their annual long-standing traditions is the Christmas surprise package. One of my long-standing, one of my long-standing traditions with this channel is the opening you okay honestly I usually open it when I get it I film it and I save it for the next year but my surprise package from the previous year now they upped the price a little bit this year it's $55 plus shipping and handling so about 58 bucks but for that you get nine they also up the value you get 95 90 or 96 now 96 to 105 dollars worth of gaming materials so basically half off I love it we take part in it every year we have for years they're basically like you know their rift series and their tri galaxies we've got everything I'm actually kind of expanding into some of the supernatural horror and nightmare Cthulhu-esque some of the other game genres they do some of their smaller title runs, you know, half a dozen books instead of 40 plus. <laughs> they've got lots. Anything you can imagine to eat. Superheroes, you like Marvel, DC, they've got a superhero thing. You know, you like Zombie Apocalypse, they got that. It's insane. Uh, you're a furry and you're into anthropomorphic. Well, then After the Bomb is for you. A post-apocalyptic after, you know, humanity collapses on itself and due to something that was called a my little monster kit people created their own pets use with spl by splicing human and animal dna which are now communities that dominate the planet all sorts of fun stuff <sighs> since i didn't get around to it last time i'm going to be opening this fresh and in front of you so Let's get down to work and see what I technically got last year. But yeah, you put it in order, you give them 10 plus items um, in case something's out of stock or something along that line, and they select, not only select $96 to $105 worth of items to fill your box, but any of the artists, writers, etc., who are available, sign them. So you get signed copies of stuff at half off. And sometimes you can get, you know, preview stuff, stuff that's not released yet, you know, draft copies. Ah, oh, let's see what I got. This is it's just a piece of newspaper fluff filler to make things stay in the box properly. All right. Let me unwrap this, because sometimes you can get a patch or something and something like that. Nope, that's the filler. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I've got something pretty on top. A $9 thingy. It's got Celtic not work type stuff on it. I'm trying not to look at the cover. I don't know what it is. I have no. I actually got no clue what this is. That's pretty. It's... Ooh. Palladium Book of... Weapons and Castles. I have so much of their stuff, I'm actually started going for some of the outlines, you know, support stuff. Oh, wow, that's nice. It is signed by numerous people with a message from Kevin Siemba himself. 2020, get fortified. Weapons and Castles. That's cute. That's funny. On the inside is a nice diagram of a basic castle layout. Page on bows, ranges, damages, and the best thing is because they use one game system, you can take all these bows 
Next page has crossbows. And like I was speaking of the um, after the bomb, the mutant animals, firearms, cars are hard to get. But I can import these various types of crossbows, spears, crossbow heads. I can import them and use them there with no need for conversion or anything. Just slide it in. Ooh, catapults, trebuchets, ballistas. It's got all manner, as well as some pre-done layouts. Ooh, that's nice. Several nice layouts with details and descriptions of defenses, how things work. That is nice. That'll make a nice little addition. That's that's nice. Okay. Let's see what else we got. I'm not looking at the list of what I was sent cuz I don't I don't want to spoil this. All right. So stick all that to the side. What have we got next? Ah, it's a tight box. I have to kind of wedge my finger in. Ooh, along the spines. As I was mentioning, if you're you're a superhero Marvel DC type fan. Powers Unlimited for their superhero, super villain genre game. Very nice. It's predominantly a book on a dish on, with more powers, more power descriptions. <laughs> Kevin side of the inside of this one. Power up. Nice. Ah, oh, Wayne Smith, Julius Rosenstein. Looks like People's Curse of Signatures. It takes a second sometimes. Alex Marcin Marcinison. Okay. Bunch of the author and illustrator. That's some fun art to it. New minor super abilities. Cool. And of course you can shift these, move these into different games if you need to soup up, spruce up, you know, an opponent in a fantasy setting. Maybe you make a demigod who's got superpowers. All right, I could sit here and just go through that book, describing that book. I could just read through it, but that would take us so long. All right, what we got next? Oh, that's right. I'm missing this. It's the I've got the second printing, the Mystic Mystic China. I've got Mystic China too. Um, the later printing. This is the original well, reprint of the original. But let's see. Game on, game on from Kevin. But signed in between him and Eric Wojcik. Eric died a few years back. Uh, Alex is in here again. Oh. See, Walton. Nice. It's got... It's for playing in Mystic China. But one of the things I love about Palladium is they'll research different places. Like, they'll look into Chinese myth, legend, and work those into the appropriate books. I love that. All right, what do we got next? Oh, Century Station. I don't remember what Century Station is. <laughs> I know it's part of the Heroes and Super Super Villains. Heroes Unlimited is the name of their Marvel DC type genre. Heroes Unlimited, entire city full of heroes, villains, superheroes, superhumans, mutants, criminals, aliens, and secrets. A playground for crime busters and superhuman adventurers of all kind. I've got saying to the side for light. Unfortunately, I'm recording this at night. The lights are kind of funky. I need to replace one of my systems in here, so I'm using lamp lights. Makes it hard to read things. A great source book for GMs and players alike, with scores of heroes, optional player characters, and villains. So it's a it's a mega city. 
details of a, me a mega city, basically a background area. You know, like when we'd play in Greyhawk, in the city of Greyhawk. God, that that dates me, doesn't it? That that throws that throws the time frame back there. Uh, mega city of Century Station, mapped and described. Wealth of world information: fifty-one villains, forty heroes, plus lawmen and other forces, criminal masterminds and syndicates, sector and anti-alien groups, 101 adventure settings and ideas. Written by Bill Coffin. I like to include things like that. A lot of times authors don't get much of the way of recognition. Alright, looks like I've got one left. I'm going to say I have to buy some new shirts. I have four Palladium shirts. I could not find any of them. I've been looking for the last two days. Cannot find them for this video. Ah, ooh, island at the edge of the world. That's a Palladium Fantasy, I believe. Yeah, Palladium Fantasy RPG Book Six. Let's find the description. Island at the edge of the world, never before revealed. History of the Palladium world revealed. Must have of it. Virtually every adventure unravels the mysteries of the past, starting revelations and bits of information. The Tristine Chronicles, The Time of a Thousand Magics, Changelings, Ancient Kings, and the Changeling Inquisition. Okay. Crystal Magic. As powerful as rune weapons. Okay, that's... That's interesting. If you know anything about rune weapons... Hmm. Legendary Circle of Absolute Elemental Power... The Island at the Edge of the World, the Balgor Wastelands, and more. Church of the Scar. Frightening prophecies about the end of the world. Explore the valley from which none return. The Old Kingdom's Mountains, the town of a dozen flax? Frax? Hmm. Ancient ruins, catacombs of dead kings, uncharted islands, island at, and the island at the edge of the world. Fight the Crystal King and his minions. Fantastic. Fanatical priests, the crystal golem, ghosts of the past, elementals, ogres, orcs, kobolds, changeling sorcerers, power hungry madmen, pirates, and monsters. Cool! No written by on the back that tells me to check the front cover. <laughs> it's a pair of gargoyles playing checkers. It's like dogs playing poker. Or one of my favorite that was done by Palladium years ago. I've got a picture on the wall of dog boys. Rest Earth. Dog boys playing poker. If you're curious what dog boys is, look into it. Best regards from Kevin. Written by Thomas Bartud. Story editor. Senior editor. Senior editor's Alex. So you got signatures from John, and I cannot read that one. Some Somebody would make, make a doctor look articulate with that signature. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh, Sigmund, the Dragon Wolf. Cool. King of Old Mountains, maps, adventure hooks, random... Random encounter tables. Church of the Scar. Oh, it looks like it's some sort of orc or goblin cult. Cool. With an annual tournament. All right. As always, I can sit here and go through each book and, you know, do a 20 minute video easy on any given one of these. But there we go. So, no, 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 we have the one buck for 20, 23, 27, 30, 50, 25, 75, 17, so 85, 92, And that nine. Hundred one. Hundred first all the way. 
Cool. Nice haul. Good additions across several genres. So, I mean, I've got weapons and castles that are u- us- is usable in even non-Palladium campaigns. Use that anywhere. That's more of a equipment and information book. Powers Unlimited. Usable across the board. Mystic China. That's nice. That's going to give me some good stuff. Good stuff to use there. Century Station, very specific to the Heroes Unlimited, but that's all right. If you know what you're doing, you can shift things back and forth, need them where you want them in any virtually any campaign. And the Island at the End of the World, nice add to my fantasy collection. Once again, with other stuff I can adapt and utilize elsewhere. So, all right, gang. That was my haul from last year. Next year, you can see what I get this year. <laughs> so, as a tradition, I'll put a link in the description down below, so you so you have no problem going there to the main page yourself. If there's something that interests you, if you've never tried Palladium games before, fifty-eight bucks for ninety-five to you know one hundred five dollars. In, bo- in books and materials, you can get the starter books for several different games. Get the lead-in book. You know, it's 10 plus items. Grab a cornucopia. If you've never tried plenty of books. You're into vampire stuff? Grab the lead book for that one. You know, I, think, I believe that's Dead Rain. Rain, at, not as in rain, but as in, you know, like a king reigns. Um, you're into, into the Call of Cthulhu type stuff. There's a series for that. My wife loves it. You know, you, they used to have the Robotech stuff, but they had to stop on that. Um, my two favorites are Rifts, which is Rifts Earth, post-apocalyptic, and the Tri-Galaxies. But they have a cornucopia of almost anything you could want to try, and it uses the same basic system. So once you know the system, and some will say it's difficult, I disagree. I mean, it's not, you know, rubber stamp cheesy easy but once you've got it you can use it in any of their games in any genre you like to play today so give it a look give it a thought and I hope you enjoy leave me your thoughts comments observations suggestions down below hit that like or dislike subscribe subscribe if you haven't already share with friends especially in this case more important than anything though there's someone or something important to you that matters to you then whether it's up and out face to face or the relative safety of behind your keyboard or pick up the phone to check on an old friend get involved make a difference but take care stay safe i am the articulate grunt i hope to catch you back soon but for now i'm out from here bye